Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. My channel is new, so please subscribe, hit the bell button, like, comment, share, all of that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. I'm also an author. I'm writing an action adventure series uh, on Twin Flames. It's based on the life of myself and my Twin Flame. You can find links to purchase those books on Amazon on my about wall here on YouTube as well as links to view the trailers that I made for each of them. This reading is timeless. Whenever you come across it is the time that it is for you. This is the Celtic cross spread which I read slightly differently than others so I will explain as I go. Right off the bat here, um, when I looked at these cards Pisces, I heard um, mental health okay you have this is mostly swords and discs you have one uh, cups here and while discs um, can also be coins they can represent your money they also represent health so I, I can see there's just a lot going on in your mind right now and you're attempting to balance it for your mental health that I'm not saying that you have anything wrong with your you're not you know being mental or anything it's just that uh, I think this is what this might be centered around for you and here is the uh, the issue here um, right at the heart of everything this week Pisces we have the six of swords swords is air energy Libra Gemini Aquarius this is an Aquarius influence right here um, the fa now this card is it's called science okay and this is when you ask questions you get an answer and then that usually leaves you with more questions and that's what scientists do okay but this is a mental journey you you're asking questions you're finding answers but it's leaving you with more questions but the fact that it's upside down is telling me that you're not really doing it as much as you should be. The energy is there, uh, but it is just now manifesting. Okay, there's questions that have that point to the divine. The cross is the masculine and the rose is the feminine um, to me, and that is divinity itself. That's the reason why we are here. So I think that that's why I love this card, that all our questions uh, should point to um, the reason why we're here because we are divinity learning here in this physical place now whenever I get a card upside down it doesn't have a different meaning what it means is that the energy is manifesting it's still a possibility it's still growing if this card had been right side up that would tell me that you are asking the essential questions that you are on this journey but because it's upside down it's telling me that since this is the card that is the heart of everything that is going on for you right now Pisces either you are not asking the questions or you know that you should be asking these questions but you're just not doing it the next energy that we read um, is the energy that is directly affecting that what is at the heart of everything for you and here we have discs four is the number of stability stability brings us happiness if you see this right here that's the symbol for the Sun the Sun in the tarot is the happiest card in the deck it's where everything is just joyful and beautiful and when we have stability in our health and in our wealth which is what discs represent it's all earth energy when we have that we are stable and we are happy and so right now this is telling me that you're building a form or a foundation right now okay but there's still some questions that you need to ask that will help you um, create this beautiful foundation what is at the root of everything for you at this time Pisces is the knight of discs and we'll see that he is right side up and so that means that this is a fully manifested energy this knight is on his way the thing about this knight for, well, first of all the thing about all knights is that knights bring change okay he is on his way to bring you a brand new beginning in your health and your wealth okay and I believe that it's coming with this foundation the thing about this knight is I mean look at his horse okay that horse looks pretty relaxed this 
Knight looks like he's looking off into the distance at the sun. He's thinking about what is going to bring that happiness, how to get there. Um, he's a thinker. He crosses all his T's and he dots all his I's. He leaves nothing undone on his journey to where he needs to go. And he, this uh, shield that you see, to me, it represents the Ace of Discs. And the Ace of Discs um, is the divine seed that we plant that brings the fertility, that brings all the health and wealth and beauty and stability in our physical life. So he is on his way. The only thing about this knight is that he takes a long time. That's why his horse looks so relaxed. That's why he looks like he's just sitting there thinking. Okay, he is making sure that he does this right. So know that your knight is on his way to bring you this beautiful new life. He's just taking a really long time getting there because he's doing it very well. But just know that when he finally gets there, Everything will be done right, and everything will be done perfectly. The next card that we read here is the energy that is moving out of your life at this time, Pisces. And here it seems that there was a giant change that just didn't quite, that didn't manifest, okay? Now, when I get a card from the Major Arcana, which is what this is. This is telling me that this is part of your divine blueprint. Your divine blueprint is the reason why you incarnated as the person that you are here in this dimension on this planet. You're here to learn. You are the divine learning through being physical, um, through all this earth energy, okay? Now, there was a big change that either you were expecting or had begun to manifest. And even though this card looks kind of um, scary, it doesn't have to be. Uh, tower moments happen all the time. But sometimes you just feel like you just don't want to eat a certain food anymore, and then you don't. And so that's a big change in your life, but it's not really. Okay? So there's a tower moment that was beginning to manifest, a big change in your life, but it didn't fully manifest, and now it's kind of being put off. Okay? And I'm feeling like this is going to come back because this is a major arcana card because this is a major part of your life, okay? The reason why you are here. So there is going to be a big, big change coming. It's just not going to happen just yet. And I feel like it's because this knight is still on his way. So it could be that you recognize that the knight is on his way, okay? Because he has a fully manifested energy. But he hasn't gotten there yet. He's taking a long time. And so maybe you're letting go of waiting for him for the moment, but he's on his way, okay? Because here we have his two more, you know, sometimes things just have to happen before he gets there. And his night's journey is your journey, okay? And so before you have this major change, there's things that you have to do in between. And here what we read are two um, future cards. This is a more immediate future. And this is a future that happens a little further out. This this future will happen after this one. This future, these both these futures will will happen after this outcome as well. But we read this one first. And these two cards are very much water energy, Pisces. Okay? Here we have a major arcana card. This is the chariot. The chariot is manifesting. He is a knight. He is holding a disc just the same as this Knight of Discs down here. Now, he's upside down because he's not full, fully manifested, okay? He's still a possibility. He is in your distant future. This could have something to do with a Cancer, which is your water energy, uh, Pisces. Of course, it doesn't have to be a Cancer. It can just be somebody who has a lot of Cancer in their chart or somebody who has the the same kind of um, energies as cancer, uh, cancerians are hard on the outside and soft on the inside, soft-hearted. And so this is um, this uh, knight is on his way, and what he represents is um, victory. This is a huge victory, and that's exactly what this knight is bringing you. Okay, is this beautiful victory? But see the thing about the charioteer here is that a lot of the times he'll have just two horses and and they're both going two different ways and what he has to do is he has to be very careful 
in controlling them so that he gets to where he's going. And so it does take him a long time. He's very much like this Knight of Discs. He's like, this Knight of Discs is the minor arcana of this major arcana card. That's what I'm feeling right now, okay? So this beautiful victory will come in. The, the Knight, the masculine energy is on his way. But before that can happen, what we have is this energy. Um, this is your energy, Pisces. This is the Queen of Cups. Okay? And you will see that she is upside down. That means she is manifesting. Now, she will come into full manifestation when you reflect. You'll see how she is reflecting. You can barely even see her. There's her face right there. Okay? She is a reflection. This could be you. This could be a person that, um, w as a person, this queen is someone where you look at them and you say, oh, this person is this and this and this. Well, it's actually how you are. They have this energy where they are basically a mirror. Okay? Now, this could be a person in your life, but what I'm feeling is because that she's upside down I, and because this is your energy, I, I'm just really feeling that this is you. There, you need to reflect on who you are. You need to reflect on the truth of who you are so that your night can come in. These are the steps that it takes. These are the essential questions that must be asked. Okay? Now, while this is all logic, air is logic, and, um, okay, like cups is emotion. It's love. It's, it's all emotion. So I'm feeling that um, you need to keep your questions um, not so much logical, but essential, okay? Make sure that they're the right questions and then reflect on who you really are inside, okay? The next energy that we read is your hope. Now, this is a, this may have something to do with a Sagittarius, it may not. In other decks, this is called temperance. Temperance is moderation. Now you'll see that she is pouring water and fire into this cauldron that I feel is the uh, Ace of Cups, the Holy Grail, basically. This is the masculine energy, I'm sorry, this is the masculine, this is the feminine energy. And see how this is one person blending together and it creates this beautiful energy of glory. For me, this is, um, this is the twin flame card because that's how we are when we are our own twin flames, um, aside from another person. Um, everybody has masculine and feminine energy and if we balance them correctly, and we become completely balanced. We become a piece of art. When, uh, when we have the temperance card, the temperance card reminds us that too much of anything isn't good. Too little of anything isn't good. It has to be just right. That is the balance of the masculine and the feminine. And so I think what you're doing here is you're hoping for um, a beautiful twin flame union. Whether it is reflecting on yourself and understanding yourself to bring in this beautiful stability, this beautiful new life that these knights are going to bring in. Or this could even be you hoping for a twin flame union with someone else too. Okay, so we're our twin flames first. And then there are other uh, people out there that are our twin flame counterpart. So if you know about that, you could be hoping very much for that to happen. And you'll notice that this card is right side up, Pisces. This is a fully manifested energy. Keep hoping. Because whether it's one or the other that you're hoping for or both, balancing your own energies and bringing in your twin flame counterpart, this is a wonderful thing to hope for. It is, it is basically the alchemy of life. Good job. All right, so the next card that we read is the seven of swords okay and here's what i'm feeling okay these cards are connected here's a sword card here's a sword card this is the six this is the seven 
I think that when it comes to asking these essential questions, you might be having some trouble doing that. Maybe you don't know what to ask. Maybe that's why you're feeling it's all just kind of futile. And here we have the moon, which is your ruling planet, Pisces. And the thing about the moon is that it, it kind of, it kind of hides stuff from you. It illuminates, but it, it does it in a way. Okay, here's an example. The moon shines only because the sun shines on it. So it's a little bit deceptive in itself. But it also brings illumination to things that are in the dark. Okay? So even though what you've got is this card that's telling you that you... It says futility. It, it also means theft. This means... A, sometimes this will mean like a, a thief or a spy. But I'm not feeling that for you right now. What I'm feeling is that this is an unstable effort. This is incomplete success due to exhaustion. Okay? So I, that's why I'm really feeling like um, you know that you need to ask the essential questions to reflect on yourself. But right now you're just feeling like, gosh, I don't know what they are. Because this is the this is one step and this is, you know, this is a six, this is a seven. So they're very much related. And so, um, this may have something to do with an Aquarius. It doesn't have to. But you'll see that this card is right side up. And so I'm feeling like that you just are. You're just feeling really exhausted. You don't know what questions to ask. And that's what your unstable effort is. This is your environment. This is what's going around, going on around you right now, Pisces. But I wouldn't worry too much about it because we have this chariot coming in. This is victory. We have the right side up knight of disc. This is a fully manifested energy. He is on his way. Okay. Now the next card that we read is your fear. And what we have is a major arcana card. And this is the emperor. Okay. Now this is every time I get a major arcana card. It's the universe telling you about your divine blueprint. Okay. So I feel like this is something to be pointed out to you. Okay. Right side up, the emperor, of course it could have something to do with an Aries, but it doesn't have to. The emperor is the boss. The emperor is in control of his own life. And not just that, he's in control of his empire. He built it from the bottom up. He often has to make choices, uh, decisions that are hard, but he does it because he's strong, because he's in control, and because he knows it's his empire. empire. Okay? So... I'm thinking that your fear is that you will not be in control, that you don't know how to take care of your empire, that maybe you don't know how to start it. But you'll see here that he is already on his way. Your empire, your health and your wealth, your stability is already there. So you've already begun your empire, okay? And so your, your fear of not being in control, of not being the boss, is bringing you to this immediate outcome. And it looks like you are on the verge of just giving in to worry. This is discs. This is your, your money and your health, okay? This, this is worry, okay? That's why I'm feeling very much that this is all about your mental health. You're dealing with a lot of fear. You don't know what to ask. You don't know that you have to reflect on your emotions. You're afraid that you're not going to be the boss. You just don't know what to ask. But you have wonderful hopes. Your hopes are in place. Your stability, your foundation is there affecting what's going on. You've already got your foundation. Your knight is on his way, okay? So this is upside down. This is not a fully manifested energy. The, the, the advice for this card, Pisces, is not to worry. This is lack mentality. If you think you're not going to have enough, then you won't. Don't let this card flip. Understand that victory is coming. 
and it has everything to do with your emotion. Reflect on who you are and how you feel and your victory will be complete. Your night will come in, okay? And the energy at the bottom of the deck here is the Two of Swords. This is the decision. And here's the moon again. When the moon illuminates the truth from the darkness, you'll know which way to go. Okay? You'll know. You're at a crossroads right now, and that's uncomfortable. But the moon will illuminate. The moon is very much your emotions. That's you. Also, your intuition, Pisces. You're very intuitive. Okay? Now, you have a lot of control here. I gauge that by the number of major arcana cards to minor arcana cards. And you have one, two, three, and four. So four out of ten cards means that you are mostly in control of this. This is, this is your mind. Don't let yourself stay in this lack mentality. Let it stay in this abundant foundation. Your foundation is solid. You, you only need to ask the right questions. Keep your hopes and you'll know what decision to make. All right? That's what I have for you at this time, Pisces. I hope this resonated with you. See you next time.